Good evening class, hope everyone's doing well today. I just wanted to take a moment to show you how to do the supply and demand graph of orange juice that was recently assigned. I know some of us are a little rusty with simple supply and demand graphs. Uh, I did go over this with you, as a matter of fact, regarding Tropicana orange juice soon after we met, and I believe we ultimately graphed Heinz ketchup. So, Let's first look at the information that you were given in the article, and then we'll actually graph it together. So we'll understand how to graph a supply and demand graph, something that's a staple of any economics class and that you'll be doing at the college level should you pursue any economics coursework. So as we look at the article, we see that the headline is, why orange juice prices are soaring on global markets and specifically we want to know what the coronavirus pandemic has done to create this situation and it says the future price of orange juice has spiked by more than 20 percent this month as consumers look for healthy products during the coronavirus pandemic it goes on to say while demand has risen supply has been hit as producers struggle to export goods due to transport restrictions. This has caused a rise in the so-called futures price of orange juice. So, how would we graph this? So, we have to look at the basic supply and demand graph. The most famous thing in all of economics, not necessarily the most important, but certainly the most famous, and what we would have on the y-axis would be a big P, or the word price. And on the x-axis, we would have a big Q, or the word quantity. So, in order to graph supply and demand, we have to have price and quantity. Next. The big curve inside the graph is labeled S for supply. Way to remember that is supply up or supply to the sky. And notice how I've labeled my supply curve on the northeast part of the graph. And then demand would be labeled on the southeast part of the graph. The way to remember this is demand descends or demand down. So regardless of what we're graphing, we're always going to have supply and demand intersecting here at the equilibrium price. And we're going to draw dotted lines to each axis. So the article told us uh, the BBC article on orange juice told us that the price of orange juice has spiked more than 20% as consumers look for healthy products, namely vitamin C that will stave off infection and colds. So demand has shifted right. There's been more demand for orange juice, a 20% spike. So we're going to label this D prime or D2. If we put D1 for the first demand curve. Now it also has told us the article that supply has been hit as producers struggle to export goods. So that means there's less supply on the market. We call this supply chain issues or transportation issues specifically in the article. So, this is going to be now labeled supply two. All right. Or supply prime is what I would like to do here. And let's look at our new price point with the demand shift to the right and the supply shift to the left. We now have a new equilibrium. As you can see, the quantity 
stays roughly the same, but look at our new price. Obviously, it has shot up to Y prime here. And there you have it. So I don't know if your families have been buying orange juice through a delivery service or going to the store, but obviously the price of orange juice has spiked due to a double shift, a perfect storm for a price hike with demand increasing to the right as people search for healthy food to consume and a supply shift with supply shifters being caused by the supply chain and transportation conflicts. So that's how your graph should look. I got a lot of emails and questions on the Google Classroom, people confused. I know we were a little rusty with simple supply and demand, but I thought it worthwhile to go over this. So that's your market for orange juice as I have labeled this graph, given the double shift. All right, folks, signing off. Hope everyone's doing well. And hopefully I'll get to see you before the school year ends so we can do some economics in person. Miss you guys.